the night I'll make it worth your while We won't hide in the crowd Just stay with me I'll make it worth your while While, while Make it worth your while While, while I'll make it worth your while While, while Make it worth your while While, while I'll make it worth your while Good morning, guys. Or it's not really morning. I actually slept in for a long time. I just didn't really feel like getting out of bed today. So it's like past two o'clock in the afternoon and I am still in bed. I've had two cups of coffee and my dog is sleeping next to me on the bed. And I just, I don't know. Just right now I'm in this space where I just don't feel like I have anything to get up to. <laughs> I know it sounds uh, very dramatic, but yeah, it's just one of those days. And um, I feel, I feel heavy. I, I feel, yeah, things are heavy. That's just how things are right now. And it sucks, but um, just have to accept it and do my best to get out of it and do whatever I have the strength to do. And today was just one of those days where I just needed to stay in bed. I actually feel like I can get up now and I'm going to go take a shower and I'm going to take my dog out for a walk and we'll see how the day goes. So I have, I got out of bed and I took my dog for a walk. I put on a little bit of makeup just to feel like I'm a person <laughs> and it's already afternoon and I'm kind of glad actually today's one of those days. I just kind of just want the day to be over. For now, I just thought I would record some of my thoughts with you guys because I think I mentioned earlier in some video that I was uh, married before. I'm actually divorced. Um, I still have a very good relationship with my ex-husband. We're still very good friends and I have uh, gotten questions about that earlier just because people are curious and uh, kind of surprised that I am this close still with my ex-husband. Um, and people are kind of wondering like how or why and like how does this work? Well, first of all, um, we were together for I think it was like eight years, seven or eight years. And we were married for three years, the three last years. I definitely wanted to marry him when we got married. I wanted to spend my life with him. Uh, I thought that that was a good choice and the right choice for me and for us. And, you know, it's just like with any relationship, it doesn't always work out. And it's not necessarily anyone's fault. It doesn't necessarily have to be that anything special happened to make the relationship fall apart, but sometimes you just kind of grow apart or, you know, you just kind of, um, I don't know, I guess, uh, learn more about yourself and what you need in life and what you want and what kind of, what kind of relationship you need um, to grow stronger and 
And I guess that's kind of what happened to me and my ex-husband. Um, also the fact that we were really tired, like both of us, especially the three last years. And I mean, all of the years, but especially the last years, I had been uh, really sick from my mental illnesses. Um, and it was definitely taking a toll on our relationship. And I don't blame him or myself in any way for that because that is a very, very natural thing. If you are struggling with your mental health or any other kind of sickness, it is hard for, for, the, for the people that love you to stand by and support you. Or in many cases, they will also like kind of get depressed or, you know, it's, it's a really hard situation. Um, for anyone, both for the person who is sick and suffering and for the people who love that person and wants to take care of them. And that definitely took a toll on our relationship when we had to go through that for so many years. And uh, I think he handled it really, really great. I have to be honest and say that he, he, was, so, um, he was so nice to me and he understood that, I, that it wasn't my fault and that I was doing the best I could and, and so was he. I actually think that he sacrificed a little too much of himself for me. He's almost like too nice and too kind and too giving of himself. And he gave so much to me um, that he kind of erased himself a little bit and what he wanted and needed in life. And at some point he almost stopped taking care of himself and the only focus in our relationship was on me and on my illness and the fact that I wasn't doing well. Again, this is not his fault or my fault. This is just how things went with us and that wasn't good for us, for any of us. And of course, that's not the only reason, but for that and for many other reasons, uh, our relationship just kind of um, turned into more of a friendship than a romantic relationship in a way and I think at a certain point you're gonna have to really like invest everything and seek help or counsel or something like that to make it work or you're gonna have to kind of admit that okay this is not working and maybe right now is not the time for us to be together after trying so hard for so long, both of us just kind of felt that it, uh, it was the, the best thing for us was not to be together. I felt that I, our relationship was lacking something that I really needed. And I also think that he needed something else than, I, than what I could give him. And he deserved only the best. I mean, he deserves only the best. And I wanted something that would fit me better. And so we decided that we would get separated. And in our country, I live in Norway, and in this country, it's like uh, if you're married, uh, you have to first, you have to file for a separation, and then you have to be separated legally for one year before you can file for divorce. So that was what we did. We filed for a separation. We were separated for a year, and then we got divorced um, in January of 2020, I think it was, yeah. So I'm very recently divorced, um, but we are still very good friends. Because the thing is that I never stopped loving him, like loving him dearly. I still do. He is like family to me. He was my family and he still feels like family. Even though I have moved on in my life, I have a new boyfriend and we live together and I have started my life with him. Um, my feelings um, for my ex-husband they don't really disappear. I mean, in the sense of there's no romantic feelings towards him, but I still love him as a friend and as a person. And I think he is a wonderful, wonderful person. And even though we didn't fight and we were, it was nothing like that. It was still really sad, you know, of course it's sad. It's really, really devastating a situation, no matter if you're friends or not, because You've invested so much time and effort and money, things, you know, in this re relationship, in this marriage. And when it doesn't work, it's hard. And of course, I was really sad and heartbroken that the whole relationship didn't work out. It feels like a failure and you're disappointed and sad. But at the same time, of course, I'm, I'm happy that we're still friends and, and 
what made me the most sad was probably the thought of not having him in my life because he's such a good person and I, I love him dearly as a friend and I would I was terrified of losing him out of my life like I would wouldn't have him in my life anymore that we wouldn't be friends and couldn't hang out anymore and talk together and and I, I said that I said that to him we talked about it and he agreed like he didn't want to lose me either out of his life so why would we why can we not be friends it's not awkward between us we've known each other for many many years and we love each other as friends and so why would we not continue that i talk to him regularly and see him when i can actually uh, this last christmas we celebrated together we weren't together anymore we were separated and i just wanted to be home and celebrate christmas at home here with my boyfriend and uh, just have a really really calm chill <laughs> christmas and i invited my ex and he was really happy to come. So here at Christmas Eve, we celebrated here. It was just me, my boyfriend and my ex-husband. And it was really nice. We ate a lot of great food that my boyfriend made for us. We had a couple presents that we opened and we just chilled, had some wine, talked. It was really nice. I love the fact that I can still hang out with my ex-husband and that we are still friends. And I get, of course, that it is not that easy for everyone. Like, if something were to happen uh, that would make me really hurt or mad, or if I would really hurt him or make him mad in any, in any way, then maybe we wouldn't have been able to stay friends. Um, it's not as easy for everyone. It's so sad, you know, the fact that you had a relationship, a romantic one, and it didn't work out. And I mean, that's fair enough. Sometimes it doesn't work out, but does that mean automatically that you can't be friends? And as I said, of course, I understand in some situations that it's it's hard to stay friends, but I don't think it's weird to be friends with your ex. I, I think it's a wonderful thing that you can be friends with your ex. Same with my boyfriend, um, with my ex-husband, that I can actually invite my ex-husband here for Christmas or for some other party and he can be here and get along with everyone and our friends and. It's not weird. I think that is really, really great. And I'm so grateful to have those people in my life. You know, it's still a struggle. I still struggle with my issues every day. It's going to be like that for a long time still. The only thing I'm not allowed to do is to give up. And I'm not telling you this for you to feel sorry for me. That's not it. And that's not why I talk about my mental health issues. It's not for you, you to give me sympathy. I want to talk about this stuff because I believe wholeheartedly that it makes the world a better place if we talk about this stuff. That it makes life for so many people just a tiny bit easier if you can feel that it's okay to talk about the hard stuff and it's okay to talk about the really horrible feelings we have inside sometimes and you're not alone with those feelings. But also, of course, not everyone has the opportunity or the strength or the courage to talk openly about such issues. And that's why I feel it's so important for me to do it because I have processed it. I have received help. I've been to therapy and treatment for many years and I'm over the worst and I'm like on the other side now. I'm getting better. And that's at a point where I feel like I can talk about this openly without having to go back to those feelings. I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what this is, guys. I just, yeah, as I said, I just wanted to share my thoughts with you today. This is the kind of stuff that I talk about and think about all the time. I find it very fascinating, um, the human psyche. It's horrible and extremely fascinating and wonderful all at the same time. Anyways, and so if you liked any of this, I hope you will give my video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, then I hope you will maybe give me a shot and help the YouTube algorithm. Maybe more people want to see my videos. I really would like that. So yeah, but thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you guys. 
Uh, of course, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for being so cool and supportive and take care of yourself. And I hope I will see you again in my next video. Bye.